Ryan from Ohio. All morning I've been thinking about Michael Brooks saying, drag the bear cub to the park. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do we have that clip from uh, RFK with the... Uh... Yeah. Are those like uh, decapitated like goat heads that get found in Prospect Park occasionally? Is that Bobby too? Is he doing the Santorini stuff? No, I, I, no, no. I mean, look. Oh, his comes from conservation. Let's play this clip. I mean, look. Um, I, 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 and I should just say up front, I was not aware of this story. Um, I have heard other stories that aren't quite as um, uh, crazy as this one. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But 2014, um, I was doing uh, Ring of Fire with Bobby. This just never came up. Um, and, or maybe he didn't want to tell that many people. Apparently, it was coming out in a story in the New Yorker uh, magazine. Um, I, you know, if this helps... Um, Trump voters vote for uh, Kennedy uh, where he is. Great. If it uh, keeps people from voting for him who would otherwise vote for Harris, great. I am all in favor of that. Um, it is a strange story. It is not terribly surprising to me, although this one's pretty, pretty out there. Uh, here he is with Roseanne, who I should also say is a complete lunatic. And, She's playing the straight man here. And when Roseanne Barr <laughs> raises her eyebrows is something you're saying? You know that maybe it's time for, you don't want this on video. I was taking a group of people falconing in, uh, up in Goshen, New York, up in the Hudson Valley. And I was supposed to meet them there at like maybe eight or nine. I was driving up maybe, you know, really early, like seven. And, and then woman in a van in front of me hit a bear and killed it, a young bear. So I pulled over and I picked up the bear and put him in the back of my van because I was going to skin the bear and it was very good condition and I was going to and put the meat in my refrigerator and you can do that in New York City, you can get a bear tag for a roadkill bear. And so then I, we went hawking, and I had the bear in my car. Pause it for a second. And uh, now, a lot of people would probably stop here and go, eh, it's quite a story. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'll tell you, I believe it. I, I totally believe it. Uh, they're not, there's, there's a decent amount of people at Air America who have stories of like, I heard from one today who had their version of this story, but I've heard this story like a couple of different times. Like, uh, Bobby came in and, uh, put a box on my table and it was like some animal that like, uh, was like injured. Like, uh, I, I can't remember exactly what the, like a squirrel. And he was going to take it home to nurse it back to health. Uh, and he, he does, he's a, he's a falconer. Um, I kind of suspect maybe that's why he told the story is the the road like first of all there's a very small number of people that can relate to that I know some people who have salvaged roadkill animals in a similar fashion but like that's a small percentage of even North Dakotans <laughs> yes <laughs> there's not a huge amount of people that do that and none I, of them are falconing no no I think he tells the story because he was afraid that it was going to come out in the New Yorker and so he wanted to dissipate its impact or right. make sure the story was told right um, it gets worse in my estimation. <laughs> then I, we went hawking and I had the bear in my car and then oh, we had a really good day and we went late. We were catching a lot of game and the people really loved it. So we just stayed late and instead of going back to my home in Westchester, I had to go right to the city because there was a dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse. And at the end of the dinner, it went late. Like, like I, I don't know I like why you have to say Peter Luger Steakhouse is just weird. But also, and, and Matt, you'd have a better sense of this. How much time? So if he picks up the, the bear at 8 a.m., I got to think, uh, you know, 
Well, I guess the point is at the end of dinner, they're like, you can't, you're not, what are you going to do with that bear now? It's been sitting in your car a little bit long, right? I mean, at one point, you got to get the meat into, um, you got to uh, butcher the hot the, van, I would probably I mean, say. that's, I, I don't, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was winter. That could be, that'd be fine. If it's winter, you're okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, how, how long do you have? Bef you know, I imagine it is different, depends on what, uh, do you want to leave that meat uh, you know, just sitting out there, you probably have well, probably a, a, a day or two yeah. at least. I had to go right to the city because there was a dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse. And at the end of the dinner, it went late, and I realized I couldn't go home. I had to go to the airport. And the bear was in my car, and I didn't want to leave the bear in the car because um, that would have been bad. So then I thought, you know, at that time, this was the, the, the little bit of the redneck in me. There had been a series of bicycle accidents in New York. They had just put in the bike lanes. And some people, a couple of people had gotten killed. And it was every day. And people had gotten badly injured. Every day it was in the press. And so I thought... Pause it. Uh, Look at Roseanne's face. She's like, where is this going? <laughs> Gonna get another cup of coffee. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be hitting right on the bourbon right here. Go ahead. I wasn't drinking, of course, but people were drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. And I said, well, I had an old bike in my car that somebody asked me to get rid of. I said, let's go put the bear in Central Park and we'll make it look like you got to play the bike. <laughs> <laughs> fun, funny for people. So everybody thought, that's a great idea. So we went and did that and we thought it would be amusing for whoever found it or something. Uh, the next day, it was like, uh, it was on every television station. It was the front page of every paper. And I turned on the TV and there was like a mile of yellow tape and there were 20 cop cars. There were helicopters flying over it. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And, uh, and then they were, there were some people in, on TV in tie suits with gloves on lifting up the bike. And they were saying they're going to take this up to Albany to get a finger printed. Um, and uh, <laughs> I was worried because my prints were all over that bike. <laughs> uh, luckily, um, the uh, the story died down after a while, and uh, and it stayed dead for a decade. And um, the New Yorker somehow found out about it, and they just they're going to do a big article on me, and that's one of the articles. So they asked me the fact checker is that. You know, it's going to be a bad story. I mean, well, you know, look, it's a uh, it's an interesting story, and it's a fun one. I don't know that it's one that you uh, that would have people say like, well. This is this is presidential material. Yeah, I don't think like you are. You couldn't get in touch with somebody to dispose of a bear carcass. You couldn't have somebody make a few phone calls. You know, there's level of pranks that are funny, yeah. and there are a level of pranks that end up like, well, I, you know, there's probably a couple hundred thousand dollars invested in 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 that whole uh, reaction, which is not, which is not really out of bounds you find a bear cub in central park Somebody you're thinking a live one well you're thinking wait a second um is there a bear living in central park that's having babies like where did this bear cub come from yeah. that's a it's not easy to get to central park um and there's not just a baby bear there would be a full bear oh they have a picture with the bear cub I mean, the caption says <clears throat> Kennedy with the carcass of a black bear cub in 2014 in quotes. Maybe that's where I got my brain worm, he said. Well, <laughs> so the interesting Dave from Jamaica says part. bear is a good way to get trichinosis. That aside, why uh, admit to planting a bear? Conservatives are very weird people.
Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.